There are more than 10,000 different species of ferns in the world, and I wish I could grow all of them. Ferns are a wonderful way to add texture to the garden, and you can find varieties that thrive in almost any climate. Horticulturist Tony Avent owns plant delight, uh, plants, plants or plant? Just one plant, lots okay. of delights. Plant Delights Nursery in Raleigh, North Carolina, and he knows so much about these amazing plants. Welcome back to the show, Tony. Thank you very much. So, Tony was here. Uh, you gave a talk um, mm -hmm. uh, about a hundred, is it a hundred new unusual plants? New, unusual, At the different. Brooklyn Botanic Garden yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, you're going to tell us why you love ferns so much. Did well, you did you talk about any ferns yesterday? We did talk about a few oh. ferns yesterday. Yeah, I love ferns. Ferns are just, uh, ferns are sort of like the, in a flower arrangement, you know, you can put all the color in there, but without the filler, it doesn't work. And ferns are the filler for the garden, and, and See, gardens just aren't right without right. them. Right. Oh, I, I, I'd rather have ferns than anything. Yeah. Oh, I love the textures of all the various ferns, and you have brought some beautiful ferns with you to show Yeah, absolutely. But can I mention your catalog? Absolutely. Okay. Um, the catalog is always amusing. Um, here we have Hortville versus Farmville. Yeah. Are you playing Farmville? I actually are have you, no idea what Farmville is, oh, you but don't? I know it's got something to do with Facebook. It has something to do with like millions of people wasting I, they, time playing. They do. It's unbelievable. If, <laughs> if all of you out there who spend all that time playing Farmville would just do Hortville and grow some stuff, the Absolutely. world would be better, right? Get out in the garden. <laughs> right. <laughs> They sit at their desks or they sit at night and they play, f they buy tractors. Yeah, yeah. Women <laughs> buy tractors, fake tractors. I'll take your word for that. They do. Oh, my God. You have to look at it sometime. It's very funny. But Hurtville and then inside are the most extraordinary. Yeah, you can get all this online, too. You Absolutely. Plantthelights.com. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of playing Farmville, read this catalog. Boy, mm. will you learn a lot. And we should do a Hurtville game. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and yeah. you actually buy I've real had plants. I've some requests, yeah. yeah you know, well, that might be something that think, uh, needs exploring. Yeah, man eaters and, yeah, and insect absolutely, eaters. Absolutely. Well, ferns, let's get to ferns because that's what you're here for. Absolutely. And snowed in, so we're going to learn a lot about ferns because you're not going to get home today. Uh, don't say you that. No, please don't home. say that. Uh, all of these plants that you see are very old. They are. And like how many year, how many millions yeah, of know, years? Some of the ferns we grow in our garden are actually 200 million years old. Mm -hmm. The same species were here before the dinosaurs, right. which is, that's pretty amazing. Right, like which ferns? Well, some of the Osmundas, Osmunda claytonia, a very okay. common native fern was back here again, the same species, 200 million years ago. That's Oh, I, I, and I love the idea of having prehistoric things in my garden. Absolutely. Yeah. As we all say, respect your elders. So good reason to have appreciation <laughs> for our ferns. So uh, so which one well, should we start with? Let's look at some with? of them. We'll okay. start up here. This is okay. uh, one called the tadding fern. This is a selection oh. of our nating, native southern lady and see how it has like a tadding stitch. Now, how many of you know what tatting is? Yeah, well, some of you. I Very tried, informed audience. I tried to learn how to tat. Have you ever tried to tat? No, no. Tatting do, is not in my Do you repertoire. know what it is? Uh, it's a stitch where you Well, it's not exactly a, a funny... stitch. You have this little tiny tool and, and a piece of thread, and mm -hmm. you make things that look just like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, okay, so that's a tatting fern. I yeah. love this. Yeah, isn't that cool? This yeah. is a small one. needs a little uh, a lightly moist uh, environment. Will Very spread? easy to grow. Will it spread? No, this is a tight clumper, so okay. it never gets tight any bigger than this. Clumper. Yes. Now, what now it, oh, this I one know. will spread a little bit. I know what this is, lady fern. This is, this is maiden a, fern. a maiden fern, or maiden hair fern. It's mm -hmm. a maiden hair fern is hardy, some of them all the way up to Canada, some of them down to Florida. This is the southern version. So it spreads, it makes a nice patch, maybe two or three feet across. Very, holds its So not, not winter hardy in my garden. This particular one probably no. would not so be, but it, we have some that but are. But I keep it in a pot then. Great as a house okay. plant, I absolutely. Love. And the cool thing about it, if you notice on the back of the leaves, these are the spores. Now this is how ferns reproduce, and we'll talk oh, about yeah, that a little that. more. Oh, yes. In a minute. Here we took some off. Oh, yes. I thought that was just, just a um, just a uh, design, a variegation. Mm -hmm. Well, but a lot of people actually think they're diseases or insects and they'll spray them. But no, that's the fern trying to replicate oh, itself. Oh, okay. So we need to take Spores. care of those. Okay. Yes. Now this I love. Isn't this weird? Now this is a uh, an epiphytic fern. This one actually grows up trees in the wild in Asia. Makes a great house plant. And unlike the first two, which are deciduous, this one is evergreen. Anything, any relation to the staghorn, like that one that's growing up there is well, epiphytic? It's epiphytic as well, absolutely. Yeah. It's a distant cousin. Okay. Yeah. And this is a really interesting lacy fern. This is an upside-down fern. And it's named that because the leaves are actually put on upside down. Oh. 
The stem is on backwards. Oh, all right. It's really, I see. really oh. fascinating. And this one is uh, very tardily deciduous. It makes a very, very wide clump, maybe uh, three, four feet across. Standishii. Mm -hmm. And oh. very, very elegant. Just a it, wonderful. It is. It's so beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. For, and then for textural contrast, that's a great thing about ferns is the textures, the locations and uh, the can colors. be very different. And the and colors, the colors yeah. of green are yeah. different. This one has wonderful spores on the back. This is a holly fern. And you can see where the spores on this one were very small and right. on the edge. Here, they're very large. Oh, yeah, look at those. As, mm -hmm. Now, that's that one dot is really made up of thousands of spores. Yes, that's a case, and it's oh, full yeah. of spores. And if you take a magnifying glass and you watch it when they turn brown, the spores actually will pop oh. open, mm. and they're fascinating. This would be evergreen as compared to, again, deciduous. So you can have all these different textures and forms. Have a fern garden. Absolutely, Which nothing better. I, I'm trying to grow a whole fern garden right now. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. That sounds so great. So much fun, and you learn so much, as I say, when you read uh, the writing of Tony Avent. Um, we're going to show you how to use the spores, these little brown spots, uh, to make many more ferns. It's called propagating when we come back. <laughs> As heard from Tony, you can make many plants from just one single plant. And because ferns have spores, you can propagate them differently than you would from seeds. Um, and Tony Avent from Plant Delights is going to show us how to do it. And uh, I want to hear from the expert. Okay, well, let's okay. start by, we showed people where the spores are. So first thing we need to do is cut them off. Look at those. And oh, isn't many. It, isn't it loaded yes. with them? Just absolutely this one, amazing. This one even has even bigger. Yeah, You're so going to take can, the whole thing we're off? We're going to cut that leaf. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do, the first thing we do is look to see when they mature. And when they mature is when they turn brown for most ferns. So now this one has it on the back of the leaves. But right. if you look at this other one, you notice that some of them are green and some are brown. This one, like so, this? So you want to cut one of those that okay. is brown. All right. And so once, that's not, so th those are spores too. Those are the cases full of the spores. Okay. So what we're going to do when we gather the four spores, we got to clean them. So we're going to drop them in an envelope. Okay. And we're just going to put them both in here since oh, we only have one. Oh, okay. Those are full. Oh, I, oh those are full. Okay. So we're going to drop them in here. And what you want to do is leave them in here for about a week. Let them dry, and what'll happen? Those cases will begin to pop open, and then after a week, we have oh. dried leaves. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do is so take we have those... done our preparation already. It's okay. sort of like it's a making a cake and then having it already cooked. Right. You know, it's, it's I a, watch it's... the show. So how many ferns? <laughs> how many ferns can you uh, make from one plant like that? If oh, if everything grew. If everything grew, probably twenty thousand. Wow. It's a lot of a lot of ferns. Yeah. So we take this. And we close it up after it's dry to week and just sort of crunch it up. Is this one too? No, oh, that's oh, the that's... clean ones. Oh, he has three swaps. That's the out. next step. Tony, See, that's you're the so cake organized. that the icing has been done. Oh, okay. So here we go. So okay. we take Now, what down. kind of fern is that? This is a uh, bristle fern. Oh, okay. And okay. That, is that hardy in my, in my territory? This one probably would be. Can I sprinkle it on the snow now and it'll grow? Uh, no. no. No, that's not going to work. It might get lost. Now we take all this stuff out. The next thing we have to do is clean the spores. Okay. So let's look at this and let's start dumping out the trash. That's the key with ferns, is getting them clean. So we dump out all the chaff, because ferns spores are so small. Right, separate the seeds from the chaff, yep. yes. the wheat from the chaff. Yep, absolutely. So you see those little orange? Oh, yeah. So but you're wasting spores, some here, but you could do that uh, again, right? There's so many that we won't miss a is few Is there thousand. like a million in there? There is, yeah. So we get all those ah, down. Ah. And we get all the stuff clean. I don't okay. care about that. It's almost I want clean. those seeds. Well, you can come back and you can you can take these and put them on the snow. Okay. All right. So when we finish, what we should have are clean spores. Right. An envelope full of clean spores. So here's what we're gonna sow. Mm -hmm. And these are like large dust. I mean, they really wanna, are. Wanna small. pour that so out there so everybody let's can pour see. Pour that here. So every one of those is. Yep. It looks like dust, but every one of those little it, particles is a seed. Yes, yes. And a seed or a spore? Now, now what is that? Okay, so these are spores. Ferns didn't evolve. You know, they, they were so prehistoric that they evolved differently. They, most plants flower, they have sex, they have seed. You plant the seed, they come up. Ferns are the have, opposite. How do they have sex? Well, we're going to talk about that. Oh. Ferns didn't get the memo. We could change this program, you know. Okay, so, so ferns, before they have sex, they produce their seed or spores. 
So we're going to take and sew those now. So let's let's look right here. What we're going to do? Not with a machine. You, you're not sewing them with a machine. No, these are so you're tiny. You're sewing them. Sewing them. So we're just tapping a little bit right here. Now are these going to grow? So oh, absolutely. I put these in yeah, my you want to try some? Yeah. If I put these in my greenhouse, I will have a lot. Oh yes. Okay. Oh yes. If you follow I'm, the rest of the this. procedures, I'm, I'm yep. going to do this because I'm really. Be sure to tap. Don't get them too thick. No. Because something very interesting happens if you sew them too thick. What? They have trouble having Babies. meaningful sex. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so once we get that done, then we seal them in a Ziploc bag. Should I put these back in the envelope? Yeah, that'd be great. Because they're so small that if you don't, like if you water them with a water hose, they're gone. You wash yeah, right. them away. So we seal them up, and we have to be sure when we do this that we pour boiling water over this. Okay. Oh, to warm them up? To, well, to sterilize. Oh, okay. So we got them sterilized. We put them now off in a dark area. Now, wait a minute. Where do you put the boiling water? You pour it over the whole thing. Is it a plastic before bag? Before you sew the spores. Over the pot? The pot. Oh, Keep over Keep it this. sterilized. Okay, that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then after about a month, what you'll have is this right here. Wow, look at that. And these are little fern spores, and oh. they're up. Now, at this point, they're ready to have sex. Now, the way it works, <laughs> these are little green things, and underneath each one are little men and women sperm and really? eggs hanging on to the bottom. Really? Now, ferns are cool because they only have sex when they're swimming. So we're going to let these ferns swim. Okay. So we're going to take our water, and we're going to pour it on here. And shut your eyes. You can't watch them do this. <laughs> okay, and then we just mix it around. <laughs> This is why yeah. you have to love these horticulturists. I mean, they're just... And we seal that up, put it in a dark place, and, you know, maybe this if you want to... This is how they get their kicks, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you want to speed it up a little bit, put on a little berry white, you know, let them mellow out. Okay. And then, within another month, Barry you bring Barry White. Them... Now, when was the last time you listened to Barry White? That's a little white. dated yeah. for some of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once they're ready, after about a weekend there of having sex, Look. now they're ready. So we come in and we take them out and we transplant so them. Now that'll here. make how many ferns? That's probably 100. Right there. Yeah. You want to try some of those? Of course. Mm. So fun. So you have to have patience. Got to have patience because the whole process is generally anywhere from six months to a year. So it's not quick. And that's why we pay a lot of money to people like Tony for his plants. Absolutely. Because he has done all this for us. Yep. And then uh, about a month, then you take these, put them in a dark area. You don't need to dark. put them in a bag. And then a month later, here's what you're going to have. Dark area, but how do you, you have to water them? You have to water these yeah. very slightly. But then these are ready. And then you can take each of these as a little clump of about 100 plants. Right. And from this point, you can take and divide those again. How? And put those in more cell how packs. How would we divide that? You can actually come in and just pull them? pull them apart. Oh, look, and they do have roots. Yeah, they're absolutely cool little plants. Look at those. How and fantastic. then those can be transplanted. And then a couple of months later, there's your ferns. Mm. And these are ready to go out so, in the ground. Oh, this is so much fun. This is a lot of plants right here. Isn't it amazing? So you can really yeah. get by with, I mean, nursery people don't like the for you to find out about this, but you start out with one, and next thing you know, you've got enough to plant your entire oh. property with ferns. And I have 150 acres that I want to be covered with ferns. It won't take but a year. See, you've got enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, isn't this interesting? Try this method to grow more of your favorite ferns for your friends, for your family, and of course, for yourself. Thanks a lot, Tony. Thank very you. fun.